Hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hello guys from our YouTube channel, how are you? Today we're going to start this live event with this very, very, very intensive proposal here to develop a building, a residential building, multi-stories in 30 minutes. Let's see if it's possible to make it by using AI, of course. So this will be the promise of the event. Tell me where you are from in the chat and let's start this right away, okay? Let's keep going. So what, what we are going to use here, guys, and people here from our Instagram, type daily one to get your access, okay? Daily one is the best way to get the access for this free live event. I'm going to share my best insights related to this software here called Architectures, okay? So this is the best way for you to get the entire experience. So guys, my name is Philip, I'm from Ugreen. You already know that we have this company related to consultancies related to sustainable buildings and sustainable materials as well. And I always like to test new technologies to see what we can do as something new to develop our projects to you know to to be more on the evolution of that right so our idea is not just to be drawing things is to go to the evolution of those things and i think ai can help us on this path right on this road to not to just draw so many things but manage more of those things find more sustainable materials look more for energy efficiency, look more for comfort. I think this is the future of architecture, not the drawing, the, you know, aesthetics is important as well, but really see things more in the managing level. This will be the next goal by using AI. Okay, so let's take a look here on the software called Architectures. I'm here on my YouTube channel. You can see that we have the premium experience here because we have the cameras, we have here, we are here presenting the entire software the entire interface so i strongly suggest you that you go to our youtube channel to get the complete experience for free guys we're not selling anything so very easy for you to get the entire experience i'm sorry to just have this thing here right this daily one here so this is the best way to go so let's proceed guys we have the software called architecture and we have uh, our account. So this software is paid, but it's not too much. It's $480 a year. So it's something that is, is possible to, to make, right? It's not something that crazy. So you can go to your projects and you will uh, see some possibilities here for our project. So I will click on, on login. This, the website is kind of slow. So we need to be patient to, for all these interfaces to enter, right? So we are going to enter in this part related to our projects. It takes some time to, to make it. All right, let's wait. So here we have our list of projects, right? We have some projects that the software have developed, the demo here that we see, right? Project demo, we can see uh, some copies, but I will create something new here. On this part here, I can click on new, and then I can, let's say I will develop a multi-story residential multi-story residential it will be located in my city if you want to uh, know our city curitiba we are going to make a tour guide or something i'm just kidding brazil right brazil is our country and location curitiba curitiba is a city in the south of brazil the coldest capital of brazil if you think brazil is hot you don't know curitiba okay and we are in the winter here of our city so let's see, it's going to process. Let's wait some time. Okay, so now we have this multi-story residential and I will click on play on the right side. And by clicking on play, we will see the entire interface. 
So it's loading the project and you will see guys that we have an interface like this. So these are the, the layout that we have and here are possibilities to edit the model, right? So this is something that we are going to do here. So first we need to upload the site because the software needs to know what we, we have, right? So I will load here something is this file called Vi, Vi is Go in English, because I was so stressed by trying to find a file to, to present you guys here and remove all the layers to make that clean. And I said, the name of the file is going to be Go. <laughs> and now I have the Go here. So the plot layer, I will use the site. So we will have a site view here. We will have a building layer. So I'm just bringing a layer related to the building, right? The layer that I can really build. Then I can bring the basement layer. I will add here the urbanization. Oh no, the I brought the, the wrong layer here. Just one second. So I want to bring the site as well. And the environment, I will bring the urban part. And here I will bring the urban part as well. So here now we have a possibility, right? We have this site. Uh, we have this building. Oh, it's not showing the, the site here for some reason. Let me try to bring the site. The site is around here. So let me try to bring that. Reference layer site. Okay, now we have the site. So we have the site and we can develop a building like this, for example. And then I can start creating my building. So you are going to see that I, I have the video here, uh, but we have this thing called building, right? So you can click on building and you will just click once and drag it. And when you click enter, it's going to process here the building, right? So let's see. It's going to process something, right? Something. So, okay, now we have a building here. What is this? Right, we have a model. Let's see the model. Here is the model. The site is kind of messed up, but we, can, we could fix that later, right? We can remove those, those, those things here. It's, it kind of stretched the, the line. But the thing is, the, we have a crazy building here, right? What is this? I don't really know. It's a building. But now we can make some edits on that. So I can go back on plans. And here we can see that we have, for example, uh, what do we have here, right? We have this layout. We can click on this. And here we can see that we have a apartment. We have another apartment here, another apartment here, another here, and another here. So we have the site, uh, the, the area we, we can see here, right? 88 square meters. So this is the net area that we have. Here we have some other, right? So this is a two bedroom space. When you click on this, we have a master bedroom with a uh, master bathroom here. A bathroom here, a bedroom here. Okay, this is something, right? But it's not something, it could be much better, right? So we can start editing this model. And what we can do, so we have many different possibilities here. So you can click, for example, on the, uh, uh, you can click on the mode story uh, residential. So we, you always click here on top to go back. So I just clicked here to go back to my model and I can click on this on the middle and just on the line and I can start adding the editing some targets that we have here. So for example, guys, people from Instagram who are trying to watch from here, type daily one to get your access for our YouTube channel. Okay. This is the best way, the best experience that you can get off this event. Then we have some targets. So here is, is more for, for a reference, but you can start telling, okay, I want this to make to be a four bedroom apartment. I don't want a four bedroom apartment. I want to have, for example, uh, let's say I want this to have a 80 units. Okay. Then three bedroom apartments, I will bring uh, 50% of three bedroom apartments and two bedroom apartments, 50% as well. 
okay so we have the plot area we can set some targets here right this is the let's say the the area is going to be something like this and uh, the final area could be something like this. I don't recall from the actual site because I developed this project some years ago, but let's say we will have some potentials here. Then we, can, we can add all those things here, but this is just for a reference. And here we can start editing. So I will start making some magics here, for example. Let's say we have just one elevator, right? So by clicking here below, you will see the general floor on design. We can see that we have some things here. For example, we have the building width, right? So we have 17 meters. We could say, okay, since I can develop until this area here, right? I can develop this and this. This is my limits from this project. I could just say, okay, I want to make something such as 24 meters. And I will click on enter and it's going to process. It's going to reprocess the entire building considering the width and considering the, pro the properties that we have here below. Okay. Okay. Now we have this in 20, 24, I said, or something like it. I don't recall. Yeah, 24. So now you can see 24. So it's changed the layout completely. Can you see, guys? So completely different layout. And now I could say, okay, this is a two, uh, this is so big and I know that in my legislation, I need to improve this. So you can start editing all those things here. So here, for example, we have core one specifications, number of lifts per core. So I will add two here. Let's say my legislation asked for two lifts, maybe three, but let's add two and it's going to change this part here and change a little the apartments as well let's see okay now we have two lifts it's changed the the environment as we can see here and here we have right so we have this mix of two let and and you are going to see some wrong things that the software is making so you need to fix this right by giving the correct prompts for the software so here we can see for example if i click on this i think this will be a bedroom here master's bedroom right without windows so this is something very crazy right a living room a master's bedroom because the goal that we are trying to ask the software is kind of unrealistic by the number of apartments that we are asking and considering the, the, the overall environment. So we need to make some more edits to improve this, okay? So I, guys, I said that I would make this in a half an hour. We are 10 minutes and we already have a building. It's a good building? Not. It's, it's, it's an awful building, but we have a building, right? In 10 minutes, we already have a building. Maybe uh, in five minutes or something since we started. Now we can start editing some more, right? We can start making some more uh, ideas here. So for example, here we have the three bedroom unit uh, areas, right? We could change the area of this rooms, right? We could change the number of bathrooms that we want. We can change many different possibilities here. But before this, I want to enter on this general floor design. I think this is the, let's, edit the macro and I think this software should have this general floors on top and specifying and more and more and more when you drop down it will, will be easy for, for organization but this is fantastic right in my opinion so here we can see uh, we can edit some other things so access position it's on center we are making this as, as a central project I don't want to change it uh, building orientation, we could change this as well. Let's say corridor ends. Uh, so it's called abierto in, in facada, right? It's in Spanish. This is an Spanish software. So we could add it, for example, it's called opening on the facade, right? So we have this openings uh, here. We could just change media nearest entrada, right? So it's, it's going to be uh, focus on this medium part. So I need to, of course, select the building and change and it's processing here. So let's wait some seconds and now it's going to change this. Okay, 
now we have something that it removed those right since we have an apartment here the corridor is using this parts here right so this is something and then we can we can edit so many different things right we can edit for example number of standard floors right we have here for example as you saw this very strange three floor building or something we could change this so i will click here again and i could edit this by changing the number of floors so i will add here 20 floors let's say it's going to be 20. so it's going to reprocess penthouse level do we want a penthouse level yes number of commercial floors i want two commercial floors for example this is an area that we want to have commercial floors so let's wait and it's processing and while it's processing we can take a look here on this building and when it is processed we can just wait and it's going to be 20 floor building this is what we want right okay guys tell us in the chat where you are from it's nice for us to know where you guys are coming from and if you want to join our live event on youtube for the best view of this we are making this right on youtube the best view and transmitting live in instagram is kind of not the best experience you can type live one uh, daily one i'm sorry daily one and you will get the access for our daily live events that we are making here and every day at this time we invite you to join this crazy community here where we discover new things related to architecture and how to develop a 20-story building in one second right so now we have this and very interesting to know guys is that we have here a bin exportation right you can export on CAD on BIM so this is ready for BIM and so now we have this right and always here above we can just change this so let's bring uh, let's go back and now I have the multi-story I will go back to my plans and here I am on the commercial level of this project then I can just change here I can select the building and then I change the floors now I want to go to floor number five I want to go to the penthouse floor so here we have our penthouse floor and here we have our other floors and we can also see the magic here guys now we are going to make some magic together let's see um, house plants Kenya guys you are awesome I'm very happy to be here with you you can be sure of that here you can see that we are on on the basement floor and now let's create some lines so I will add a line here let's say I can develop my building on this positioning so I'm adding and adding and adding and adding and adding I think I think it didn't create this let me try to press okay basement floor i want to create a external boundary i think and now it's going to make it let's see now we are processing the parking space could you see guys could you see the the magic happening so we now have this as a two uh, elevator and the entire parking lot of course maybe we could optimize that a little more but we have a parking space and this is connected of course with the above grade building right since we have this floors this part here is connected so this is the magic that the software does but let's say i don't i want to have more more lifts so I want to add three lifts here, right? So it's going to process. Let's wait. It's going to process all these levels, considering the penthouse. It's going to process the the 
yeah, the regular floor plan, the commercial, and also the basement. So we are going to see here three elevators, and we can go back to the basement, and there will be three elevators there. Everything connected. And we are not talking still about the quality of this. We can add it to this later, okay? Now we have three elevators. You could see that it has a distance. This dis distance we can add it here, for example. Uh, communal corridor minimum width, right? So this is the corridors that we have. Entrance minimum width. We have the, the front of the elevators as well, somewhere. So many things to add it here, right? And here we can go now for our below grade. And we have this connected, right? With the three elevators also here on this building. So guys, uh, I don't know if you worked as an architect for multi-level buildings. I worked on the real estate market and I developed many tall buildings and it's a painful process. It's very painful. I had developed a, a building that has 24 different plans. So imagine the, how painful it was and imagine that with technology we can remove lots of work when you are, we are using something like it. And not, I'm not making propaganda, okay? We are, we are not receiving anyone, uh, anything from this uh, website here. Actually, I sent an email for, for these guys, but they, they didn't re reply me. But that's fine, this is life, right? But the software is amazing, we can see here. Now we can uh, edit more, right? So I want to edit more. I want to, to change some things. I want to add less elevators. I will add two elevators. So where are the elevators here? I will, I will remove this. I will now, okay, we need to, to wait a little more for the elevator to process. And we can start making some more tests. Hey Morana, how are you? People from our YouTube channel, it's nice to see you guys here live with me. Okay, okay, let's wait some more. Guys, I've promised this in 30 minutes, we could make it in 10. And you can make that too, actually, right? It's not something that I'm doing, <laughs> this is a software. Okay, I changed by two elevators. It creates something strange here. I don't know why it had created something strange like this, but we can keep editing and improving. So I will change here now the proportions of housing. So housing mix. This is the housing mix. I will add it as a three. 50%, okay, so 50% as a three bedroom and 50% as a two bedroom. So let's see the changes. We have a coefficient error, right? We don't want this to be too specific. It can be 52, 48. So let's wait for the processing. Okay, hey Joseph, how are you? Nice, Morana, nice to have you with us here learning together. Let's learn together. I'm learning here. Okay, so we are always learning. Okay, now we have this. Now we have a mix of three bedroom apartments. So let's see what it's making here, right? So sometimes it creates something crazy like this. Then we can, we can go back here, for example, let's, let's see this. Let's say this living room is too big, right? We can't do this too big. So we can make a manual editing as well. So you can click on continue and you can click on this wall and just drag it. I'm trying to drag for some reason, it's not dragging, but you need to yeah, so we could add it something like this. We could add it something like change here and add it this line here. So we have a structure here positioned. So of course the basement will change. 
So when, I, when we change this for this position here, the basement positioning will need to change as well, right? Otherwise, we will have problems with the cars. And here on the right side, you can see this project estimates. We have some cost estimates here. I didn't look so much about it because since it's in Euro, of course, we can change to our currency here that is Brazilian reais, but I don't want to change that now. So here we can make this manual editing and then you can just go back to auto. And if I make some changes now, I will lose this changes that I, that I, that I make, right? Because of course the, the auto mode will change more. Now I'm going back. So I can just add it for this floor. I can edit Moody edition as well. So this is so nice. Let's go back to the, the actual model, right? The entire model. So I'm going here back again. I will change here and I will go back to the standard floor. It's just a standard floor here. And let's add it some more, right? So parameters. Here we can see the enclosure, right? This is 35 centimeters. I will change this by 20. In my country, we use usually 20. We don't need too much, uh, so big U value. So it's processing and it will change here by 20 for 20, right? So let's wait some more and let's see the magic happening. Let's see, let's wait, let's wait. Guys from Instagram, you are missing the best experience in our YouTube channel. Go there to watch it, okay? Type daily one. My letter is so bad, but type daily one to get your access. Here we have now the external walls with 20 centimeters. So now we have 20. We reduced this. We don't need this in our country, for example. And here we have um, partition thickness. Here we have usually used 10, so we can edit this and all these partitions will change for 10 as well, okay? 10, let's wait. Let's wait, let's wait. It's going to change by 10. Very, it's not going to change too much, right? Let's wait some seconds for the magic to happen. Okay, so now we have this with 10 centimeters. We can change minimum dimensions, right? So we can say the, the minimum living room, roof that I, that living room width that I want is three meters and 30 centimeters. Kitchen minimum width, right? One uh, meter and 80 centimeters. So this is a standard of the software, but we could change that if, you, if we would want, right? We can say, uh, see here, for example, uh, private stairs. We could change this as well, right? Let's say we, we, we could add 28 centimeters on this, but I will keep this so we can reduce processing time here. Let's see. Let's see some more uh, general floor design. So the building width is 24. We can, I think we could have 26. Just take a look on that. So here we have some more to, to open. So I won't go, want to go back here and find this. This, yeah, so here's the build, building width. I will change for 26. And let me just change for the building here, the floor, and we are going to see this change completely. So now I will change this for 26. 26, let's wait. It's going to process the entire floor plan. It's going to make something entirely different and let's wait what it will do. Okay, so here we are. Building standard floor. Yeah, it made something strange here. I don't know why. 
it make a mess now. Let's try to move back and see what it happened. Just one second and finding my width. We have this as 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 twenty floors. We could change this. Let's see some more. Axis position. Here are the construction parameters. Here we have the internal minimal dimensions. So we will general floor design. So I will move back to 25. Let's see what it's going to do with 25. Okay, guys, on Instagram, type daily one to get the access for our live event. Yeah, now it's making it in a, in a more generic level. I don't know what happened. Let me just go back to the multi-story building. I will remove the, I will bring it back to 24 and I will remove also 24 and I will reduce the, um, some areas here also. Yeah, we can change here, for example, the the height right of each floor. So here we have uh, 18 steps, three uh, three meters and 33 centimeters. So I will remove to 70. So usually it's, this is what we do here: three meters and 50 centimeters, right? Ground floor height. We could change this as well. Let's say we could make this uh, bigger. Let's see some more possibilities here. We could change the proportion proportion here of, let's say we, we just want a two bedroom apartment. So let's change this as well and let's wait. Uh, Derek is not free, it's four, uh, $480 a year. I think if you develop residential project, this is something uh, almost no brainer. And this is not from us. Okay. We're not making any propaganda. We are testing softwares every day here at True Green. So every day at this time, you can go back here and we are going to be experimenting some more things related to architecture, AI and possibilities related to building design, right? So this is something that we love making. So let's see, standard floor, standard floor. Yeah, now we are back with the apartments. Here we have, right, this crazy uh, bed. We can see that we have a, this with a master bathroom. Oh, master bathroom is here. Master bedroom is here, right? So we have here this as big bathroom, bathroom right? As we can see here, then we can change this manually and, of course, improve that, that this design. But this is something very nice, right? Let me just try to, to change something else here. I will go back, move to my building, move to my floor, and I want to change now the corridor position. So we have this corridor central. Uh, corridor ends Medianera Centrada and Medianera Compasilo. I don't know what it means because it's in, in Spanish, but let's see this uh, in practice by seeing the model. I think it's in the middle with something. In the middle with something it means. What do you think Pasilo is, Poliana? Pasilo. What do you think Pasilo is in Spanish? 
Passivo as well? Passivo. Let's see. Spanish. Okay, middle with corridor. Okay, it didn't change too much. So let's go back to Medianera Centrada and let's take a look in something else here. What can we do to improve that even more? Since I added 24s, it's requiring more processing time, but I think it's working great, right? Imagine, imagine drawing this. So let's wait some more. Let's wait some more. Okay. Now we have this. So now we have this thing here. And let's move to other properties. Number of steps we already changed. So the stairs got a little smaller with one step less. And lift overhead space. So lots of specifications, right? We can see that is bringing really well-defined specifications. Maybe we could add it now the two bedroom unit areas, right? To improve these bathrooms here. So we could change, for example, let's see the, we want two bathrooms on this two, um, two bathroom building. We could change this for one. So just for you to see the change, right? Not that I want to, uh, to have just one bedroom, but let's take a look on that. All right, guys, tell us where you're from. We would love to know where you're from, okay? And if you are on Instagram, you are wasting your time. Type daily one to get your access for our YouTube channel. Okay, now we change this. It creates, it created something very strange. I will go back because it created something crazy here, right? This is not what we want, so I will go back and I will add two bathrooms once again. Optional clothesline. It's optional or, or not. I want this to be optional. Jurassic room, optional or not. I will keep this as optional. Laundry room, no, it's not optional. Optional storage room, yes, it's optional. Internal kitchen allowed, no or yes. So kitchen position, Medianera Circana. So let's add is internal kitchen allowed or yeah, let's keep this way. Other bedrooms position, corridor, fachada trasera, and we can just not change this because maybe we could uh, just bring bedrooms for this side. Maybe it's a possibility, but Let's keep this way. Let me move back and see the, the floors. Okay, yeah, we have crazy floors here. Something very weird happened, but let's keep editing. Um, here we have some target areas, right? We could, for example, change the master's bathroom here. We could change this for 350 just as the the other one we don't want this as a bigger bathroom so we could just change it let's see let's wait some more guys are you enjoying it Please tell us in the chat or in the comments, would you like more contents like this from us? Let's see some other tests here. Let's make some, let me go back here from the housing mix and change a little bit so I can go back and have a actual model once again. 
Processing, processing, processing. Let's see. All right. Hey, Rosatini, how are you? Yeah, so we are back here with this more, uh, yeah, more standard housing. So now we have this, right? We have this building here developed. Is that good? Not in my opinion. We need to analyze, of course, things much further, right? But we are not making this right now. So this is something that we have created and we, we could export this as a BIM file. Let's say, guys, that I will develop another building here. Let's say that we have a space to develop another building in this area here. So I will just move back again here and I will click and add some other building here. Click on enter. And then I can create a new building with an entire pro different property. So the editing process will be different for this. I need to select this, of course, and change the entire properties. Of course, we are building something that is going to exceed our site. So we will need to go back here and change this part here below related to the building width. And then we can keep going and editing some more things. So I'm just changing this in general floor design. So I will click here and change this for, let's say, 13 meters. Right, 13 meters. And let's see the changes once again. Let's wait the processing. Everything that you do, you need to wait the processing. So you do wait the processing. You do wait the processing. So this is how it is. Then we have now these two buildings. Let's see. Let's go on this. So we have the building two now. And we can see the floors. Now we have this building here. So since we have a mix of a one bedroom, it's making something like it with a bathroom and trying to make this as a, as a open space with a kitchen. I don't like this corridor. I think this is very strange. We could remove that, of course. And we could just let me just go back here to the building, too. And then we can change the housing mix here. So let's say this housing mix here will be just a hundred percent of four room apartments let's wait some time for the processing it's daily one okay dennis daily one to get your access for our youtube channel guys we like instagram okay it's not that we don't like instagram but youtube you get the best experience of those live events we can't you know make this the best way with Instagram. So now we have this four um, floor, uh, four bath, bedroom way of making things. It created a master bedroom, bathroom, uh, bedroom, bedroom here also, living room, master bathroom. So it created something this way here. Of course, it could be a private uh, bathroom a hall, a kitchen. So this is what we have here. And we could see the entire model as well. So let's take a look at the model and what's happening there. So now we have this. I don't know it, why it generated this crazy thing here. But now we have these two apartments generated, I don't know, in two minutes or something, the second one here. And you can see that it's trying to create something different here with different balconies and things like that. So we could, of course, change this. But it's interesting, right? How we could make a generative design or you, we could create something else related to this as well and export to BIM. 
So guys, this is architectures. I hope you have enjoyed this. Yeah, Morana, this is crazy, right? Uh, I hope this kind of software, software do doesn't, uh, you know, undervalue our, our work. I think our work can be focused in so many other things. When we talk about architecture, we can see, uh, you know, building efficiency related to energy, related to lighting, related to materials. So usually architects doesn't want to change things. Don't, don't, they don't want to change things because you know, it's too painful to change things in a project. I know, guys, I have drawn many buildings before uh, being this consultant here at Chigreen, but I know how painful it is to make changes. But if the changes can be easy, right, then we can improve our projects in other levels and make that much more sustainable because we have time to look for other things and it really improve our design. So this is something that I'm very excited because and that's why I, I enter on this field of um, discovering things about AI software, discovering things about new technologies. Because I think technology can really help us to to go into another level, right? And this is it, guys. So this is the software. I don't know. We could take a look on, on costs or something like it. But I don't think this is important right now, right, to, to take a look on that. I think that what is important is to see the, the changes. We have here a cost table, right, with all the costs. So some estimate costs. This is something very interesting, right? We could change this as well, right? Change the, the currency here. We can see the currency in this corner. So we could change to uh, US dollars, for example, or Brazilian reais, right? Or my country's Brazilian reais. So, by changing this project estimate, this is the, the overall cost. Of course, we need to take a look in some, right? Legislation is different, taxes are different. So here we have some possibilities of changing this as well, right? Changing this. So design and inspection fees, feasibility studies fees. And by changing this by a percentage, we have some overall costs as well as included. So, you can really bring something very nice. And this software in the future will have energy efficiency, they told us. So this is something that, that you know, excites me because this is the, the future of design, in my opinion. So moving back, we have this. We could go below grade once again. We have this processed, right? So we have this parking space. We need to reprocess this. I don't really know how to reprocess this. Let me try to to redo this somehow so yeah here we have our uh, basement floors we could add two floors of basement let's add two basement floors it's processing once again we could say okay i want parking spaces per um per bay basement perimeter layout type we could change this as well now we have two floors, parking space width. Here in my country, we can use, uh, in my city, 2.4, but in the, another city that, we, that I worked is 2.5, but let's say 2.4. It will reprocess the entire thing. You can see that the elevators are connected with the building design. I don't know why it's not processing the parking lots, uh, parking spaces here. Maybe because we don't have too many apartments and maybe it wants to remove this area. So maybe we could just manually drag this. I think this is the reason. Let's see some more, right? So parking space width, it changed already. Storage rooms, so parking spaces. Storage removes walls, core access width. So let's say I want to uh, increase the core access. I want to double this crazily just for you to see the, the changes. Now we have this access here. Okay. It's not, I don't know, strange this. It's not really connecting. It doesn't have a, a door here as well, but Guys, this is only the beginning. This is something that excites me because it's only the beginning. If, you, if, we, if we are seeing some failures in the process, okay, it's not processing as I would do as an, as an architect. 
I think that it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not something that maybe we are going to use that now, right? But this is something that it's going to, we saw so many evolutions considering AI in the last six months that we will see crazy things happening with the softwares in the future. So let's see some other things here. Basement enclosure, we could change basement perimeter layout type. We could change the perimeter as well. Parking space, parking space, uh, yeah, so we change this. Parking places per bay. This is strange. I, I didn't understand this value here. Okay, it's it's adding the parking space and some parts on the, the right and left side. Usually we don't don't have this. We we keep as two meters. Yeah, we want more parking spaces. There will there are cities here that we can pay fifty thousand reais. It's something like I don't know, fifteen thousand dollars in for one parking space in the apartment, sometimes more, sometimes thirty thousand dollars for one parking space, depending on the space that you are. Okay, so the length five meters. So this is it, guys. So I hope you have joined uh, enjoyed this event here by taking a look on this software called Architectures. I, I hope you have enjoyed the class. And yeah, the strange structure is slowing down the process. I'm, I'm so sure it's happening, right? Since we have this crazy thing here. But this, this is something that happens and by changing, for example, this thing here, just one small thing, it changes the entire thing and, and it, go, it goes back on the, uh, the right way, okay? So guys, this is Architectures, fantastic software. We have also shared a uh, swap. Swap, we want to have an access to test it and show you guys. So we are talking with, with the guys there and let's see. And this is it guys. So uh, thank you for joining this live event. It's very nice to present this for you. And uh, just for you to, to know more, we are making this in our channel at Chi Green US. So this is our channel in English. We have a channel in Portuguese as well, you Green BR. For people who speak Portuguese, you can go there. And we are sharing daily contents related to architecture. So we are sharing our sustainable architecture animated glossary, where you have drawings made by hand and animations with those drawings and explanations about this architecture subjects. So if you go to our channel, you are going to see every day one new post related to this glossary. Then you have also, you have the, um, this live events I'm posting in my personal channel because I don't want to mess our sustainable design contents with things more related to architecture and AI. So it's going to my personal channel. The link for my personal channel is in the description. Just click there and you will join my personal channel and you are going to see a world of different contents where I'm explaining some other things related to AI. We created contents, for example, just for you to, to know our, our, my personal channel here. So I will enter here, uh, my channel is, my name is Philip Boni, let me just share here. So we are live here on this event and here we have this. So this is my channel and here we have some videos, right? So I'm sharing some realistic architecture with AI. I'm sharing the con uh, some concepts of biophilic design here. Uh, I'm discussing this thing that the Beatles are back with a song created by AI. I'm discussing the what, what we can expect from this in our field. And some other of other contents, right, related to technology. So if you want to create renderings with AI, so I'm very excited by sharing this new contents here at uh, in my personal channel. So an, it's an expansion of Ugreen, but not so much related to sustainability, but related to technology. And this technology is that I'm studying. I'm studying and I see, okay, this, this makes complete sense in our sustainability courses. So we bring back and 
show you guys these possibilities as well. Okay, so thank you for joining once again, and we see you on the next live event tomorrow at the same time we are here back again with another great content okay so thank you so much for joining have a great day everyone and see you tomorrow at the same time and guys bring your friends let's create a crazy community i want to laugh with some jokes that you guys can make in the chat we can make some funny things we can really have a great time right i think the best way of learning is not you know, so many deeper things and so, too serious. We want to laugh with you guys. We want to have your jokes. We want you to, to make a good time with everyone. And always at the same time, I will be here, okay? During weekdays, of course. During the, the weekends is I need to, uh, yeah, travel with my kids and things like this. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great day, everyone.